Black Jack. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. That's some early fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. The last fireworks I saw, July 4th, okay? Here they are celebrating the start of this game the exact same way. Explosive right out of the gate. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll run. This is Daryl Henderson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. The Falcons hit six and five now of the year. Yeah, they've lost three straight here, and it kind of goes without saying, I guess, but they could certainly use a win. Yeah, no doubt about that. There's a difference between a losing stretch and a losing streak, and right now, they're not playing their best football, but if they were to fall here, and now you're looking at going four games without a win, things can start compounding themselves pretty quickly from this point forward. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And the Colts are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. First carry now for the former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Two straight four-yard runs, and it is steadily working the ball downfield. To me, they're staying right on schedule. First down, you want four yards or more to set up the rest of the drive. They're getting exactly that. So third and two, and I count six defensive backs out there. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. Oh, he's got a little daylight. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his 12th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Fairbairn good with the extra point, And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Barton, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game, and the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. 
That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Well, this defense, very strong in that victory from a week ago. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Out to his left. This one complete to me, Cole Hardman. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Coming into the week, he's the NFL's leader in receiving yards. There's his first catch, and it's good for a first down. They'll try the left side with Henderson. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On play action, they'll throw. And that is incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Oh, he's got his tight end pitch complete. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Ritter on target to Pitts for a Falcon first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. The first carry now, this is Williams. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down, because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Catch is made by Hardman. Touchdown, Falcons! Point of tying up this ball game. Ku able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Very short kick, taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree because when you get that open week after a victory, it does wonders for everyone. Obviously, your body, get a chance to heal up, but your mind as well. You feel good about winning, so now you can get away from it for a few days, put down the playbook, you know, turn off the film. Just be you, enjoy that time away, and then you come back ready to go. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. The slot man in motion right. On second down, it's Taylor. 
And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So third down, and the Falcons going with a dime. Six defensive backs. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And he is going to have a Colts first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. And seven, our score after one. <laughs> Off the play fake, Middleton. Got a man, it's complete to Jelani Woods. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. And that play was all about timing between the quarterback and his tight end because the ball's got to be released with a little bit of float to it so he can run under it, lays it out there for him. You know what else is involved? Trust that he's going to separate from the defender and have a chance to get the football. And he does exactly that and gets out of bounds with a first down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 98 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And the Colts are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. They'll run here with Taylor. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor with career touchdown number 60. And the Colts have moved out in front. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Extra point by Fairbairn up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line a long drive last time out for this offense Charles if you remember they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone marched it down the field and a lot of that now the defense loses him it's complete touchdown Falcons quickly here as they are in for six extra point by Koo up and good and we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From the 10. Now a hit and a loose 
football. And the Falcons grab it. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses, and this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks, but they have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving them up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. Koo knocks this one through the post. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. This is taken just shy of the 10. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. They run once more with Taylor. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 128 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Man, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. First and 10, Taylor now. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he's going to throw it back deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Back to throw. Middleton. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. At the 11 yard line. At their own 11 yard line. Here we go. Here the Atlanta go. offense yeah. out there for their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Falcons. Strike quickly to add on to their lead. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Middleton. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And that is incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Looking to throw. Middleton. And he'll find Pittman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll look to throw again. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. He's going to keep this again. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. They get 16 out of that partner for a few years there. We thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people are worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. Room here to run. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 27 yards, a big play there on fourth. 
Fourth and short, they had the ball right at the midfield stripe. Was curious what they were going to do. Turns out going for it, the good play. Reminded me of a conversation we had yesterday before this game where you said, you know, it's interesting about the NFL nowadays. Oftentimes in short yardage situations, they throw the ball. In the old days, they would run it. That was an old school call right there. Again, it's Taylor. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Back to throw. Middleton. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. down two scores they're going to go for this rather than settle for three try to punch it in with Taylor and they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone now a timeout signaled for and they'll get it with 10 seconds fourth and a full two yards there's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard yeah you're exactly right because when it's that six inches you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Somehow I feel he's going to hear the same thing when he gets to the sidelines after this series. So close to the first down marker. Just tuck it and run for the first down. No sense trying to throw it downfield. And that one falls incomplete. On second and goal, here's the option. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. It's their quarterback in the final seconds of the first half. And the Colts are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Fielded right around the eight. Oh, a good return up past the 30. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down to Orlando and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. his way up past the 30. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves him with third and still nine to go. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. 
every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. Third down, Middleton. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby Myers. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Throwing on first down, Middleton. He'll get this one to Pittman. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Play action, Middleton. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteeing he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On the counter, it's Taylor. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. To the right side, this is Taylor. They find some open field here. And he takes this one 33 yards. And the Colts have retaken a third quarter lead. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that will make this a four point game. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. set to begin their next drive the Falcons offense at the line and Charles it feels like we're set up for a good second half here came out of the locker room one score game now the lead has already changed hands well this offense they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back yeah and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match right and we're just already you know our heads just keep moving which side has it which side's going to score how are they going to go out doing it a little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other Seven yards there and a first down. The teams have a tough time running the balls. This one has throughout this game. It's so easy to just say, forget it. Let's throw the football. But that's exactly why you stay with the running game. Eventually, you stick with it. You make some adjustments. You often find ways to run the ball better as the game goes on. A quick throw out to Hardman on the perimeter. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Hand off, running left, Patterson. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. 
I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Bobby Okereke making that tackle. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Rolling to his right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, sometimes that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. He'll look to throw. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. They'll drop to throw. And this is caught at the 20. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Man, pretty good pursuit there defensively. He's brought down, no gain on the play. Second down coming up. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Back to throw. And this is caught at the eight. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. On second, here's Algier. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Tyler Algier, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick. Takes it at the seven. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Off the play fake, Middleton. Right side complete, that's Woods. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. 
just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle, but give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Running left, Taylor. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. 233 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. They'll try the left side with Taylor. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. For coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. On third down, here's Taylor. Down to the 25. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive took a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settled things down a little bit. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. So they converted their first two fourth down attempts. Not there. Now they're two for three. You think maybe the offense coordinator expended a little capital on that one? <laughs> you know, when you're two for yeah. two, you Got can lobby confidence. for that third one, right? Didn't get it there. Maybe now the head coach might not be so eager to go for it as we go forward. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? The old gala drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, tried to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this one is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. It got his man to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. Already over 1,000 yards receiving this season. That catch is just going to add to his total. Certainly not resting on his laurels. He's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season. First and 10, it's Patterson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. 
Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. They'll look to throw. Dancing to, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. to throw finding Pittman and he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion they give to Taylor out of the gun and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield their job is to go ahead and get low almost get into a ball sometimes stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds the passing game for the Colts finding its stride another first down back to throw going for the deep ball and at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. The 
a big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Henderson now on first and 10. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 10 yards on the pickup. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. They'll look to throw. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does, and in the second quarter, he may very well run by him, but in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. The Falcons gonna use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Well, they gave themselves options there on the third down play and were able to convert on that RPO. Shows a lot of trust with the guy taking the snap, doesn't it? Because you're counting on him to make the right reads and give the ball where it's supposed to go. And he did on that play. He's back to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead. It was well executed. I think we're going to remember this possession for a long time. We've called a bunch of games. But how about how they got it done down the stretch? Absolutely terrific. Barring some type of miraculous play in this last half minute, I think that touchdown just earned them the win. They really came up clutch when they needed it. This will be fielded inside the five. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. The offense coming back out here, plenty of energy, ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing he just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Looking to throw. Middleton, pass complete to Taylor. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. Slot man moves right. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen.